All right, here's my setup for the Bowden tube relocation. Um, I did not have to buy any additional supplies. Um, the only thing basically I had to do was print um, stuff for the system. I will have to go back into it and try to find um, the creator that originally created this. So the screws, I don't remember what it, what these screws were. They were just in the extra bag that I had. Um, they were longer screws that fit into here because normally the ones are the lower profile ones. So it replaced the two that were here. And then I used the pre-existing screws from the original hardware that was screwed into here because both of these are plastic screws. And so basically, this design, he wanted you to use um, heat set uh, inserts. And I was like, forget that. You can just mark the holes and then just tap a small hole and then just use the plastic um, screw to then attach in. The only thing I recommend is when you print this, so this side will be flat and then this, will, this side will be on top. You want to print it flat. You want to increase the top layer so you have more plastic for the screw to go into this way. Um, I did two wall, four bottom, four top. I would maybe go into the, I'm just using the Creality Slicer. Leave the four bottom, but maybe increase your top layer to eight, nine. Um, it'll just help to make sure your screws have more to go into. Um, the only thing I, did with mine because I have the Sunlu, um, uh, the the Sunlu dryer, which I'm not really a fan of. Um, hoping to potentially get one of the maybe win one of the Creality ones <sighs> because I have to see this screen. You can also hear the fans kind of loud. I thought about contacting them. If anybody else owns a Sunlu S2. With the, the fan and the two heaters on top and bottom, let me know if your fan sounds like this. If it is, whatever, I'll deal with it. Um, but because it opens up this way, um, it was a pain in the butt to get it back here because it would come out here and then it was still not high enough and I wanted to see because I'm working over there. Um, so this is my setup. So. Again, I did not cut. I did not have to get a different length tube. Uh, you basically just run it through here. Now more onto the actual setup. So this is the JC lid riser with a modified outside here. Um, I'll have to relook at all the, where I grabbed these um, STL files for these. Um, I don't remember, I had looked through them and I know it was hard to find this one, but I'll find the one that doesn't have um, the heat set inserts. I'll just get the one, link it to the one that's just, this is the solid block. Um, so basically you print the JC lid riser. Um, my uh, hinge pins just broke, so I gotta reprint those. Um, but you do all your four sides, do your ins the inners, I can't remember what they, what he calls them. Um, and then, like I said, you have, to, he doesn't have it. Someone else created the one where it has the hole where the tube goes through. Um, but then you run it. And then I actually removed two links from this chain because I was still finding when the, the core that's in here is really stiff and I'm always finding that it's, it's bending here. But the issue that I was having where I precisely tuned this is it when it got into the corner, you can see how it kind of does this. Um, basically, I took two of them out. So when we go into here, it kind of goes, it's not great. I might need to even take one more out, um, but I was finding that there was too much cord. And so I pulled some more of the extra in here. Um, and then this is also the um, this isn't the factory part. This is a, a riser that someone else produced. Um, cause the other issue is this is higher than the factory one. So the, 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 
the, the guide is actually tilted at an angle towards this um, so that everything is all on level. So you can see that, you know, within the area that it, it works in, um, we have pretty decent movement. Like I said, I'm still, still fighting this to try to figure out how I can get this to be a little bit more flexible. But as you can see, it's not really kinking this as much. Again, it's still not great, but for someone that wants it enclosed, reducing the sound, ABS, whatever the, the thing is, this seems to be the best right now. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of where I'm at for uh, a setup.